All right, so it's me again, and what I wanted to do is a clip giving my view on uh, capacitors versus batteries versus alternators. And in order to do that, I'm not going to use equations and things like that. I'm just going to use something a little bit more intuitive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the uh, load from the car like this. We're going to say that this right here is the load from our car. So we've got our car right here and it's going to take around 70 amps. And then we're going to have our amplifier and it's going to take some amount of amps. And what we're going to make it look like is, let's say this right here is going to be our alternator. I'm going to draw a little stick figure here. And he's lifting the uh, amp here and right here helping him out is going to be our battery. Okay, so uh, let's uh, say we've got uh, a uh, 1700 watt amplifier. 1700 watts, when you turn that all the way up, draws 150 amps. Okay, so that's at maximum. Okay, but we're not at maximum yet, so there are three scenarios that we can have. The first scenario is you're just listening to it at... Uh, kind of a moderate level so your amps gonna actually be drawing around 20 amps okay and let's say for typical car what we have is a, a 90 amp alternator so this alternator can produce 90 amps at 14 volts okay so if we look at this scenario right now we got a alternator that can produce 90 amps and what we have here is a 90 amp load. In that situation right there the alternator is happy and your battery is going to be happy. This right here is going to be at 14 volts and your battery is going to be right here at 12 volts. That's why I have the the lean in the way the box is because the uh, alternator wants to stay at 14 volts and the uh, battery wants to stay it's going to stay at 12 volts okay so we've got our alternator here our battery there so where does the capacitor come in what the capacitor does is it maintains the voltage of the alternator it's just sitting there holding a voltage right there at the uh, voltage of the alternator so what happens in this scenario right here is Let's say you uh, have a bass note in the song that uh, makes the amp have to work harder. So you've got a, a kind of a long bass note. What will happen is the amp will have to put out maybe 25 amps to play that bass note. And what you see here is you've got a 95 amp load because the car requires like 70 amps. That's your lights, your horn, the spark plugs. Anything that takes electricity in a car is a constant draw on the alternator. So we're saying that's 70 amps. And like I said, we have a base note now, so the amps now having to produce 25 amps to play that note. What we see here is we've got a 95 amp load, but our alternator is only able to produce 90 amps. So at that point, the alternator would uh, in would have stress on it because it couldn't produce enough current. So what the capacitor does is it immediately throws this current into the system to cover for this extra 5 amps. So in this scenario right here, the first scenario, capacitor is very useful because it can keep your voltage at 14 volts. So whenever this goes up, this load goes up because you're playing a long bass note, the capacitor can immediately step in and give you that current that you need for a short period of time until that base note's over and then your amp goes back down to 20 amp. That is when, this is the only time that a capacitor is useful and this is for generally small systems. When uh, we'll see in the other scenarios, the capacitors are not very useful for you at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to scenario two. Scenario one is where the alternator has enough amperage enough power to supply the whole system. 
the entire load. Okay, I'm going to take the capacitor out. We'll see why in a second. <clears throat> the second scenario, this is when you want to turn the volume up a little bit. Or not a little bit, a lot, actually. So you're asking for more power. So what that does, when you start turning up that volume knob, is it puts extra weight on this system. It's like adding little weights up here. I'm gonna represent the extra weight as people. So when you turn that volume knob, you're making it harder for the alternator and the battery to keep the system listed. So let's say now, since you've turned up the volume knob and added more weight, this amp is now asking for 60 amps of current to play the bass and a song and all of that. Well right now we can see we have a problem because we're asking for 130 amps of current but our system is only able to produce 90 amps of current and what happens at that point is the alternator is no longer happy because he is being requested to give more current than he can so what the alternator does <clears throat> is he sacrifices voltage for current. Since you want 130 amps, what he does is he'll lower his voltage down to maybe 13 volts so that he can produce more current because you, what you want is more power from the alternator and the uh, power equation is power equals voltage times current. So if everything is constant when current increases, voltage will decrease. So that's what he does. He sacrifices voltage for current. So he'll drop that voltage down to provide you with the other amps that you need. But what that does to the alternator, alternators don't like to do that. So his rectifier, rectifiers are what's inside an alternator that help it produce power. They start to heat up, basically, and heat is what will damage an alternator. So that's what happens when you're asking him to produce current that he doesn't have. He'll drop his voltage down and his rectifiers will start to heat up. Right now the battery is still happy because he's just putting current into the system and it's not really a big load on him yet because he's down at 12 volts and the system is still what he does is put out current into the system to support the amplifier. So this is scenario two. In this scenario when your voltage is dropped and you uh, your alternator is struggling like this let me show you what the capacitor does in this scenario. The capacitor is no longer helping you lift up the box. What the capacitor is doing in this scenario is he's sitting here. Oh no, he's not happy. He doesn't have any power. He said, and he's sitting here holding on to your alternator, taking power from the alternator because capacitors are very good at giving out power and they're also very good at sucking power and he'll give out his power to help that system until he's absolutely empty but he will also suck power from the system until he is full so right now since he's already given out his volt given out all of his current because the voltage dropped below 14 he's just hanging on to the alternator sucking power out of the system he, he gives it back to the system but it's just an extra piece of equipment in a way that's taking power from the system and losing power through heat and all that kind of stuff. So in this scenario where your alternator is not able to produce the entire load, capacitors do you no good. And that's for most of us who are watching this video who like bass because we're not interested in just having a little bit of uh, amp draw. We want a loud stereo and that means you're going to require a whole lot of current and alternators, I mean the capacitors are just not good for people like us.